Mr. McCain, I too am a cancer survivor. I have been cancer free for seven years. I ha <laughs> it was a very hard job. It was the hardest job I've ever had. Mr. McCain, what would you do about stem cell, stem cell research? I know two women in Montana who had it done and are surviving breast cancer to this day. Please, sir, Thank we you. need the help to help cancer survivors survive this terrible, deadly, ongoing disease, sir. Thank you. Um, I, uh, just a few days ago, attended uh, Lance Armstrong's gathering, uh, Live Strong, where advocates and people who are victims and people who are suffering right now from cancer gathered to try to help galvanize support. First of all, let me say, I support, it's a very tough decision, but I support stem cell research. I believe it because I think it can help America. And, and as you know, there have been dramatic improvements in skin cell research, which I hope will make that discussion academic. But I also want to provide you with a little hope because I think it's justified because the mapping of the human genome was one of the major breakthroughs in history and probably is less appreciated as to its impact on our ability to, to literally uh, cure diseases that most uh, experts, all of us, had written off as incurable. So I'm excited about what's going on uh, in America in research and study. But I also know that is of small comfort to people who are undergoing the great tragedy and affliction of cancer today. I also am a, quote, survivor, but it's been eight years in my case, too. But if I could ask you for a commercial, and everybody has their personal opinion, if you would listen to my commercial for one second, particularly in states like ours, where there's lots of sunshine, stay out of the sun, use sunscreen. If you see a small child without sunscreen on, go over and berate the mother or father and get <laughs> Make sure that people understand the sun can be a killer and it's called melanoma.